17th, we have here Aaron John Miller, more commonly known as A.J. Miller, a former Jehovah Witness elder and current leader of the Australian based Divine Truth Movement. Miller claimed to be Jesus Christ reincarnated with order in the 20th century to spread messages that he calls the divine truth. He delivers these messages in seminars and various forms of media along with his current partner, Mary Susan Locke, who identify herself as the return Mary Magdalene. Divine Truth is a spiritual movement based in Queensland, Australia, taught by Aaron John Miller also known as A.J., who claimed to be the reincarnation of Jesus of Nazareth and his partner, Mary Suzanne Luke, who claimed to be the incarnation of Mary Magdalene. The couple described truth as non-religious. Elan John Miller was born in March 1963 in Loxton, South Australia. Australia and Mary Susanna Loss was born on March, January 2nd, 1979 in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Ellen and Mary both claim that prior to their current lives on earth, they each have lived only a single life on earth, which began around the beginning of the first century AD and then continued for 1,900 years plus in the spirit world or other dimensional spaces. After their death on earth in the fourth century, they state that during their existence, in the spirit world, they continue to grow and learn and were able to discover a process by which they could return to earth. Mira called the return process reincarnation, but his description of the process doesn't have much in common with most other reincarnation philosophies that are currently being taught. Mira claims that divine truth is God's truth, which is the absolute truth about the universe and everything inside of it. From the perspective of God, he clearly defined divine truth as non-religious, saying it is always logical, it is scientific in its nature, it is always mathematical 
in its nature. It is always based in reality, but not human reality. It is the reality of how God sees everything. Mira teaches that he has discovered it through forming a personal relationship with God. And he teaches that divine truth can be discovered by any person through the process, through the same process. Divine truth teaching include information about God and God's nature. The nature of human soul is truths and potentials how to have a relationship with God. What is loving from God's perspective? How to become a more loving individual? Like after death, spirit and the spirit world and the laws that govern the operation of the universe. Several of Mira's teachings are very similar to teachings that are found in Truth Gospel, revealed anew by Jesus. Volume 4 a collection of materials which had been dictated between 1914 to 1922 via a form of automatic writing through lawyer and medium James Edward Paget in August 25. 1952 to March 17, 1923. These materials alleged had been communicated directly to Peggy by Jesus and by other discarnate spirits who were also highly spiritually advanced the prayer for divine love on the divine truth website was originally dictated to page on december 2nd 1916 miller claims that since he is Jesus, he gave most of the information contained within the messages to James Paget. On the British magazine program this morning on 15 July 2015, A.J. Miller was asked why he has now decided to publicly claim to be Jesus. He said that as soon as he realized who he was, he felt he had to be honest about his identity, which was over 10 years ago, but that he has always shared divine truth or God's truth with others through his life. In an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald, Mira clarifies, when I claim I'm Jesus, most people automatically assume 
that means I'm claiming a lot of things. They assume it means I'm claiming I'm God and I'm not. They assume it means I'm claiming that everyone should listen to me and I'm not. In fact, I tell people they need to always analyze things through their own experience. When asked to perform miracles to prove that he is Jesus, AJ explained that in the first century, he was only able to perform miracles once he become at one with God, whereby God could walk through him. He goes on to say that at present, he is not yet at that stage of development, but when he become at one with God, he feels both he and Mary will do so, which they see as just the reality of being at one with God rather than miracles. Miller explained that since the age of two, he has memories of his 2,000 years of existence. He has found it psychologically difficult to assimilate these memories into his current life, hoping for some time that they were not evidences of his identity. Knowing people would respond negatively, Mila finally started accepting he was Jesus at the age of 40. When asked by Amos Holmes what his message to the world is, Mira responded that the primary message is that there are two forms of love. There is the love that comes out of the individuals given to another and there's God's love that came enter the individuals. God's love has the power to transform not only the individual into becoming a more loving person but also transform the world what we are trying to encourage people to do is to engage this process with God of receiving love from God. Then, noticing the changes that occur inside of themselves and then sharing that love with others so that our primary message when asked if he talks to God, the Father, does he communicate with Father? Mira responded by saying yes, but not in the manner that most people believe. The language of God is love, and the communication with God has to flow through the connection with love.